at some point it stops being about uh, knowing right or wrong and it starts to become is it worth it it 100% is worth it for me to let these little diva niggas know that I don't give two fucks about none of this Migo shit, none of this shit y'all sitting here giving niggas y'all ass to kiss, I'm not with it. I don't care about your superstar, I don't care about your success. Fuck all of y'all, y'all can get up, y'all do not have to sit here. I didn't want to talk to y'all anyway. Yo, what's up crew? Welcome back to the show. It's your partner, Jess Mike. Now on the discussion board for today, really quickly, we're talking about finally getting some context on the whole Joe Button, Migos, DJ Academic situation that happened on the BET red carpet, or should I say gray carpet before the show. And uh, they commented on it on Everyday Struggle Today. And basically Joe said it was really over Lil Yachty, right? It was over Lil Boat and basically QC, that's their guy. They're rocking with Lil Yachty heavy over there. They really didn't like the words that were being spoken about Lil Yachty on their show. So they kind of confronted Joe pre-awards at the mall, basically said, listen, man, we don't want you talking about Lil Yachty ever, right? And basically Joe kind of, you know, said, listen, man, I don't want to talk about him ever. So he kind of acknowledged their sentiment. And uh, then once the Migos got to the red carpet, Joe didn't really want to interview him, right? Joe was against it. He voted against interviewing him. But of course, that's the Migos. They got one of the hottest songs in the country. They have to be on the show. Now... Once they got on the show, the energy wasn't the same. You know, they kind of had a little off-putting energy against Joe. And while I didn't think they were disrespectful, Joe certainly did. So Joe wanted to wrap the interview up. And, you know, that's where he stormed off, dropped the mic. And then we had a situation that we have here. So my whole thoughts on this thing is that, of course, the way everything was edited, we did think it was DJ Academics' fault for a minute because we thought Joe was mad at Academics for the way he was interviewing and also mad at the Migos. It turns out that that might not be too far from the truth, but it was more about Little Yachty, right? So there was already some pretext of why they didn't like Joe Button to begin with. And to be honest with you, I don't think they really care for academics either, because as you know, academics, while he was praising Lil Yachty, he did call, you know, his debut album, Teenage Emotions, a flop. And then subsequently get those Instagram posts about him flexing in his car, you know, talking about money and everything, jewelry and everything. So my whole final thoughts on this situation were, you know, Joe Button, he definitely has a right to to not want to have any association with the Migos. But at the same time, you have to realize that this is a job that you're doing and you have to have a little bit more professionalism because see what happens is because your own personal opinions bleed out onto the show. Now you have a situation where they may have burnt bridges. Okay. So, you know, complex is a big media corporation. They hold a, a, a convention every year, complex con and what if now the Migos don't want to perform on your show? What if now you can't get Quavo to come in when he finally does his solo album to talk about it on your show? You know what I mean? So there are things that you have to think about. You have to handle yourself with a little bit more diplomacy. While I do understand why Joe is upset, I do feel like, you know, you have to check yourself. And that's another thing for Joe. You know, Joe, I don't think he understands that when he's at these kind of events and when he's on the show he's representing the company and he joe is far far away from a company man as you can get but he has to realize that it's more about the show and less about him see in his mind he's still a rapper that you know he don't care about these other rappers but you gotta understand you are here to interview these people you're here to have uh comments about the culture conversations about the culture and you can't just say i don't care about these people let's move on because this is the culture. This is why you're here to give your opinion on these people. So you have to understand that. And ultimately this may lead up to why everyday struggle may self-destruct because of Joe Button. And rightfully so, listen, Joe is a divisive kind of guy like that. He admits to it. He kind of marches to the beat of his own drum and he has the right to, but sometime he can be a little bit toxic. And then you have situations where this whole show, which is really good for the culture, can kind of blow up in their face. You know what I mean? But I want to know what you guys think, man. Do you guys think Joe was a little bit disrespectful to the Migos? Do you think that he should have handled himself with a little more professionalism? And what do you think about the show as a whole? How long do you think it's going to last? Me, I hope it lasts. I hope it lasts just as long as The Breakfast Club because we need 
shows like this for our culture. We need content like this for our culture. But that's it for this one. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, it's your partner, Just Mike. Stay up. Much love. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more content like this and follow me on social media. That's Just Mike 77. But I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Until then, it's your partner, Just Mike. Stay up. And I'm out. Peace. Some of these niggas that we got coming to sit in this seat, they're giving us some sass. <laughs>